Middle of an arena in Coventry, three people wait in goal, whilst another swings a massive blue ball towards them. It's called goal ball, and it's part of the International Blind Sport Federation World Games, which for the first time is being held in the UK. It's so quiet in here, you can hear a pin drop. It's because players need to hear the audible bells coming from this ball. Yes! At Paralympic level, the ball has been measured, leaving the hand in excess of almost 40 miles per hour. Hey, yeah, you get a few bruises, but you know, that's part of playing sport. Sarah is partially sighted. By day, she's a doctor. Right now, though, she's wearing a different uniform. It's important for the general public to be able to see visually impaired people being successful and being able to, you know, show off their skill set in sport, which they might not be able to do, say, in school or in a playground in the same way that we can show it off here. Japan cut in field, though, and an opportunity for a shot and a fabulous goal. The IBSA Games are the largest high-level international event for athletes with visual impairments. And for the first time this year, it includes women's cricket. These are the best athletes in the world who represent blind and partially sighted people here congregating in GB at this moment. But we want the little kids that are, have lost their vision to say, the world doesn't have to end for you. you know, just have a go, have a go. You don't have to be the next Paralympian. Half time, let the noise commence. You dress to impress, Kath? Absolutely, we've got to make an impression to support the girls. There are over 2 million people in the UK living with sight loss. But here, in this arena, everybody is on a level playing field. Bradley Harris, 5 News, Coventry.